Jeepers creepers. Now, yes, my voice is still dying because of allergies, but fuck it, I'm gonna give you guys a Halloween review on Halloween, or a review for a Halloween movie, and Jeepers Creepers to me has always been that film I watch around Halloween, or sometimes even on Halloween like I did this year. I've always enjoyed Jeepers Creepers, but the fact of the matter is the director and the creative behind it is a shitty person with Victor Salva, not a very good man at all, and has done some very terrible, terrible things in his life, but this movie is still really good, and I wouldn't put that all on him, I feel like he's a character, he's a guy who just, he didn't do that much with the direction here, it's to me what makes Jeepers Creepers as good as it is, is the creeper, the actor who portrays the creeper, Justin Long and his sister in this movie, and the set design, and the truck, the truck is doing great, it was the plot of Jeepers Creepers, well, this movie follows two siblings who are going on a road trip, who are just driving, doing their own thing, and then lo and behold, this truck does this horrendous, insane-sounding horn, and screeches at these two, and from there on, the movie's a pulsing, just crazy time, because they have to avoid this creeper, this person who you don't even know was really a monster until, like, the end of the movie, and they also have to survive, because there's parts of this movie where they're just like, we don't know if we're gonna make it home, we don't know if we're going to be able to see our mom again, because they, have, they talk about their mom a lot in this movie. And you really, what makes Jeepers Creepers great to me isn't the direction. It's the characters behind it. These two siblings are the heart and soul of this movie. They do such a good job here. Which, in, even when you're portraying siblings in films, because I have siblings, you can, it's hard to make it seem believable and to make it, you can buy it. I really buy these two as siblings. And I haven't seen his sister in much movies outside of this, but Justin Long is so good in this movie. Typically speaking, he's a comedy actor, but most of the time here where he's doing a serious role, it is really, really good. And you really do buy him because they make fun of each other around the first half of the movie. The way they talk to each other feels like brother and sister. The way they interact, you feel like these two actors grew up with each other. And then they were doing that just to make this movie because they just feel great. And Justin Long here is great. The sister's great, too. She has some really good moments in this movie. But the Creeper himself is who we're here to see, and the Creeper is great. He's incredible. The actor who portrays him is amazing. The effects on him are great. Eventually, whenever they do reveal the wings, is so good in the, near the end of the film. And that looks great, because you don't know he's a monster from the majority of the movie. You just think this is like a duel situation, where it's like just a guy who is just harassing this other person because they're a truck driver. And they have to narrowly avoid him. But no, this becomes very sinister very quickly. And the Creeper's whole deal is that he wants certain body parts for himself to attach to himself so that he can be this ultimate being of sorts. And it's a very creepy concept because the majority of the movie is focused on Justin Long's eyes and how he wants the eyes and how the eyes are. It's so interesting to watch this movie is because you can never make this today. You can only make this in the early 2000s when this was made. But the way this movie looks is always great. This movie reminds me of Halloween so much because of how... Just orangey and tanny it is. It's like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where that movie always reminds me a little bit of Halloween. This movie reminds me of Halloween in the fact of like it looks very just on the ground, crazy, good good moments, and it just it feels like Halloween to me. And most movies can't really get that tone. This movie really gets it in us here, because you're in this countryside and you're on this road and you have this guy who you don't know what the fuck his deal is, and it's so creepy. That's what I love about Jeepers Creepers, is how just creepy and eerie this whole movie is, because you don't know what this guy's deal is for most of it. When you do find one, what his deal is, you're like, holy shit, you gotta get the fuck away from that guy. But no, it's it's a fun time, the first half of this movie is. But the, and later in the movie, while I do love seeing the wings being introduced, and while I do love seeing the backstory, kind of, they don't get into all of the backstory with the Creeper. Most of the exposition here is done throughout the town, and what the town thinks of this, and what their whole deal is. And so you don't really get that moment with him, but he is really good here, and he does a great job betraying the character. And he's just creepy. The way he looks at the characters, the way he just glances at them ever so slightly, you just feel really uneasy. And by the time you get done watching this movie, you're like, damn, I don't know if I want to go to bed tonight, because that was some creepy-ass shit. And the way the movie ends with Justin Long's eyes being removed, it's like, fuck. <laughs> That's like a very eerie shot to me, and one shot I feel like that's very underrated in horror. And what horror does for you and has a viewer, because horror movies are supposed to make you feel uneasy, make you feel 
Like you don't like you don't want to go to bed tonight. You don't want to turn off the lights tonight. That you there could be something under your bed. And Jeepers Creepers does a great job to me of doing that. And that's not because of the direction either. Because like again, I feel like since the director is such a shitty person in real life, he kind of tainted a lot of this movie because a lot of people don't want to talk about it. Just don't want to talk about this film because of the director being so terrible and about how this movie just you don't really want to talk about it because of that. And the um the sequel being very good as well, which I think it is. It's a slocky movie, but it's much not as good as this. My favorite sequel is pretty good. But they don't really talk about the, these movies a lot nowadays. People don't. But there was a time in the horror community before Victor Salva turned out to be a terrible person that these movies were very much so discussed and were very much so held as like being some of the best horror films out there. And I feel like this movie is one of the best slasher films of the 2000s, at least. This could have been a great franchise, but they made two, which was good. Three, like, years later, and that was terrifyingly bad. And then four, which was just an abomination against humanity. But this movie, I've always had a really good relationship with it. I've always watched it. My dad always owned a DVD when I was a kid, which is how I watched a lot of horror movies when I was a kid. It was just, dad had a DVD, dad played it, I'd watch it, and then I'd go to sleep having nightmares. And that's how this movie was for me. And I've always enjoyed it for that purpose. This has a big nostalgia factor for me. But I do feel like a lot of people would just refuse to talk about this film because of the director. Because if the director wasn't such a bad person and the director wasn't so terrible, I feel like it would have had so many more sequels to this movie. And it would have been discussed as being one of the better horror films. Because this movie has some great tension, some great action, some great moments of suspense. The creep is such an interesting and demented little character. And... The brother-sister relationship in this movie is great, too. It's a really enjoyable time. And the only bad part to me about this movie is the ending. Because by the last 30 minutes, because while you do get to learn more about the lore, I was enjoying this whole very suspenseful, very impactful kind of film for the first hour of it. Because you don't know a lot in the first hour. Besides that, Jeepers Creepers is still a very good movie, despite the terrible director. And how much of a piece of shit a man actually is. But I will probably give Jeepers Creepers an A-minus.